When it comes to stopping power and range, nobody argues with the 308 compared to most all the other calibers available in an AR-15 platform. It is hands down a game changer. Now it has always been a mainstay for SWAT, law enforcement, and the military due to this. Now for many of the same reasons, it has become incredibly popular with hunters. Most folks think it's an ideal mid-size game hunting rifle like deer, hogs, and similar size animals. Now the AR-10 used to be really expensive, few made it, was heavy, long, and just not ideal for taking into the field, or let alone up into a tree stand. That has all changed now. The newer AR-10s are as light and compact as many AR-15s, but with a lot more punch. They also become much more affordable. Let's check out Springfield St. Victor 308 in the AR-10 and see what it's all about. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, I always like to look at specs and tech first to see what we have on paper gives us an idea what to expect. It looks good, about what we would expect from Springfield. I'm also working on another review for Primary Arms, the SLX-5 Micro Prism Optic with the ACSS Aurora 556 and 308 reticle. <laughs> That's a mouthful. You'll, you're gonna wanna check that out. Now I love nothing more than banging on steel out there to 500 yards up there at the top of the hill. Now with that said, I also love short, compact, lightweight guns for close distance and CQB. Often, the one requires a high power optic and a longer barrel, and the other a shorter barrel and lower power optic like red dots or prism optics. Now what if we can have our cake and eat it too? Let's find out. You may have noticed the stock is not what comes with the same. Some of you guys, I swear you watch in slow-mo and you, you find the most minuscule detail. So I figure, hey, you already noticed the stock. And yes, I'm working on yet another review for Fab Defense. It's the GL Core Impact Recoil Reduction Butt Stock with a variable reduction settings. You're going to want to check that out. Does it work? So what I'm doing is, is I'm testing it in all the reviews that I'm doing with this to find out. Okay, I'm really actually shocked at how awesome these groups are using this super old military surplus ammo. Let's go check them out. Okay, so I started over here, didn't make any adjustments, moved over here, you know, kind of consistent on the right. I started making a, a couple of clicks here to the left, and then this last group, I think I'm probably gonna, yeah, you know, I think I'm just gonna leave that. I might, I might do one click to the right. That's awesome. I wanna start playing on some steel now out at some Time distance. to start having some fun. Let's see if we can bang on the steel. Let's just go big or go home. Let's start at 400. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, <laughs> that's quick, it's easy. I'm using the five and the four. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna let the barrel cool down and then we're gonna try again at the five. <laughs> Makes a huge difference when it's standing up. Well, let's see if we can hit it standing at three. It's hard to hold still. Yeah, man, it's just, I can't hold it, hold it still enough. Let's see what we can do at 200 standing. Nice. Okay, so real quick, I want to use the MD20 on the 45 degree cant. Let's start it at 200. Uh, and because if we can bang that, we definitely can do 100. Okay, real quick, let's do the 45 standing at 100. <laughs> nice. Now, real quick, folks, if you like to find guns and ammo at crazy, stupid prices, I kid you not, I find the best deals out there. Just go to my webpage and sign up for the emails. Costs you absolutely nothing, and you can unsubscribe at any time. Links below in the description and also up here on the screen. It'll take you straight to the email sign-up page. Also, same thing for my Twitter slash X page. Only in real time. I find those crazy, stupid deals on ammo you only wish you could find. Don't take my word. Go see for yourself. See some of the reviews. You definitely will want to check out my webpage while you're at it. Lots of good stuff there, folks. I don't sell anything. I just find the deals and provide the links. Let's get back to the review. Thank you for your time. Oh, yes. You know, you have to love that, right? I am also working on yet another review for Primary Arms GLX 3 to 18 by 44 ACSS Apollo, the 308 and 65 Grendel uh, reticle. Let's do some shooting with that and see what we can do. Okay, so this is actually quite interesting. Um, over here, this group, that's the Hornady 150 grain SST. Now, what was interesting was first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot. Okay, so then I moved to 168 grain Amax, and we had first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot. Um, you know, it seems odd, um, like maybe something's going on kind of with the heating of the barrel. So then I got out the, you know, the really old. Uh, military surplus and this is the group that I shot which actually is significantly better and and then I moved to the PPU and that's actually a lot better it's still not even close to MOA what I want to do now is I want to I want to try a lower that has a match trigger and see if having a match trigger tightens those groups the trigger on this um, you know, it doesn't have a lot of creep or mush, but it is a hard pull. I wanna measure that. You know, it's feeling like around 10 pounds. Six. Six. 
Six. Six and a half. Six, close to six and a half. I want to be honest, guys, though. Um, that is the hardest six, six and a half pound pull I think I've ever pulled. I mean, usually I nail it when I, when I pull on it. You know, I'm within a half a pound. And I really thought that this was about a 10 pound pull. What I want to do is I want to quick toss the upper on a lower that's got a match trigger that's got about a two pound trigger pull. I want to see what that does to our groups. Okay, so having a match trigger definitely, I think, affected the groups. Um, although this one, this was the SST and it just really doesn't like that because there's three shots and then we lost two down here because this was the the old military surplus which actually grouped really good i mean we got two there two there and then one of these um i'm not sure because the sst dropped two of them down there um and then this is the 168 grain and we had four shots there and eh, but then we got five shots actually that is well i don't know actually the winner here is that PPU, basically military ball ammo, one, two, three, four, five, you know. And over here then, this is the Federal that I introduced. And, you know, with 10 shots, that's not bad either. What I think is really interesting, though, is out of all these groups, and then you've got dirt cheap, old military surplus ball ammo. You got PPU. Mil basically M80 ball ammo and that I think is probably uh, well here's the thing that group compared to these compared to the cost you decide got a beautiful calm day it's been a few days since I shot it uh, I wanted to start reaching up on some steel at long distance apparently this just loves this military surplus ammo you gotta check out the groups that we just got. Okay, guys, I'm being completely, totally honest. That was the first three shots. <laughs> uh, then the barrel warmed up, and we went here and here. But, I, you know, I don't even, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. After, you know, all the high-end ammo that we tried... And what this seems to like, I think it's time to start playing on the steel at some distance. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Might as well just finish off what we got here. Nice. There you go, guys. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. That really does help the most. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And remember, every time that we're out on the range shooting, everybody's watching. So whether we like it or not, that makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment. Do us all a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.